<laughs> hey guys, this is the last official song, I think, that I still need to check out on the Dance Gavin Dance Downtown Battle Mountain album. This one's called Strawberry Andre. There is one other song called like 12 Hours 630 Miles or something like that. That's the outro. And I'm going to listen to that one um, off camera just because it's so short. But I do want to listen to this one. I think this is the last actual song I have still to listen to. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I went back and looked. I think this is the last one. Um, so freaking crazy. Whole album down. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. And it's really interesting to listen to this r original stuff, um, their early, early works, and compare it to the uh, newer stuff that I've heard. And I know a lot of uh, people have came and gone as the time has gone on with this band, but um, it's just really interesting to compare and contrast what's new versus what's old. But I'm super excited to get into this, so yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. <laughs> I love I love that guitar. The guitar it almost sounds kind of like it almost kind of it almost sounds kind of like distorted in a way. It's really interesting. It's it's got a very interesting sound, but I love that. <laughs> sounded like he layered that that was crazy that that's actually that such a groovy vibe i gotta hear that i gotta hear that again though <laughs> I'm sorry. I just uh, something that came to my mind just now after listening to some of their newer songs and coming back to this. One thing that I noticed is on the newer, like the most recent one I listened to, Prisoner, amazing song. But one key difference I noticed was that the clean vocalist and the uh, the the screamer they were like separated. They they kind of like took turns. But like back here, it's kind of like a mesh. They're kind of like both singing together. And I find that very interesting. I think it sounds great both ways, but it's interesting at how it works both ways, too. There's just something that I thought of. Sorry. <laughs> so much is because it, he like they like ride the guitar chords up and then back down it's just like 
it, it, like it gets higher and then it comes back down. But as it's it's got like that wavy feel to it, but his voice is like matching up perfectly with it. Like it goes up, it goes down. I, it's really interesting. I love that. <laughs> Gosh, this is the freaking end. I, I don't like that. This sounds amazing, and he was doing this little like uh, this little like higher, more softer singing in the background. I like. <laughs> just got juked out there wow oh my gosh another amazing song wow well it was out of order but that was the last song i think that i had to listen to so far on downtown battle mountain album wow that was like a tongue twister downtown battle mountain the album strawberry andre really like it again i uh, maybe it was be maybe i had to really kind of listen to some newer music to kind of discover that. I'm sure I picked up on it before, but I could really tell a difference when they're kind of meshed, like the vocalists are kind of meshed compared to the newer newer songs I've heard where, at least out of the songs I've heard, I'm not saying they don't do this on their newer stuff, but where they're separated, you know, the, the clean vocals has a verse and then the, the screamer has a verse. I, I like it both ways. I think it works both ways. And I know it's different vocalists um, over the years, but you know, so far, I, I really like what I've heard. And especially this album, this whole album was freaking crazy. Um, they're really unique. This band is so unique. And I think it's really, there's a lot of clean vocalists out there that sound amazing. But I think what makes Dance Gavin Dance so unique is the unclean vocalist, the screamer. It's a very unique style of the lower notes, the screams, the growls. It's very fast paced. It's just different. I don't know. I like it though, and of course, you can't knock the melody. They have so much melody in their music, especially running two guitars, which I think that changes over time. I've seen some comments about that, but anyways, another amazing song. Can't wait to progress on. I've seen people say, hit the self-titled album. I've seen people say, hit happiness album. I've seen people say, go right to Downtown Battle Mountain 2. Um, I don't know, we might go all over the place. We might work our way through one at a time. I'm not really sure. Um, just know that we're going to get through them because I'm excited to check them all out. So stick around for the long haul. We got a lot of Dance Gavin Dance to check out. Um, and other than that, obviously, I'm talking way longer than I should. If you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you so much. And I will see you on the next one.